Hey guys, this is Lauren. So um, my client came in with some pretty grown out ombre and it was a little bit orange through the mid shaft and kind of yellowy golden on the ends. Uh, my goal was to break this up. Um, so I did just a ton, ton, ton of baby lights. So that way it almost kind of breaks her base color without actually um, breaking her base because the problem with breaking the base is it always fades very warm. Um, so this way I broke up that dark natural by doing all these little tiny baby lights and then I added pops of brightness so it looks like a faux balayage. So um, if I just do balayage on dark hair, it just does not lift enough. So that's why I did this technique. So it looks like balayage, you have that smooth transition, really soft lived in effect, but it's just a different technique and it takes twice as long because you have to do so many little teeny tiny baby lights. So as you can see here, I'm taking diagonal back sections. Um, and the reason that I do this is because it brings a little bit more depth through the middle. And I wanna see a little bit more brightness on the through the outer sides and then a little bit more depth through the middle. So, um, and then in that piece right there, I just did, um, I call it dagger. So it's just like, it's not completely saturated on every single piece. And it gives it even more depth and dimension. Because in the back, I feel like the sun doesn't necessarily go so high up and it doesn't do so much lightning in the back section. So that's why I always make sure to add a little bit of depth and dimension. Also because you're doing everything more horizontally. Um, of course it's diagonal back but it's still horizontal so there's so much more density in the back that when it all falls on top of each other you just have like more density in your lightener too. Um, so that section right there I just split it right in the middle of those two diagonal back sections so it's almost making a triangle. That section is going to be a little bit thicker so that's going to give me even more depth through the middle. Um, I skim the top, do a little baby light and actually don't do it quite as close as I do on the two outer sides so that gives it just a little bit more um, dimension there. So because I know this technique is going to take me a really long time, I'm only using 20 volume in the back uh, with lightener and also B3 in it. Um, that way I can kind of bump up my developer as I get toward the front and if I need to I'll wash something out if it's done processing before everything else so nothing's over processed. Um, and then I kind of just feather it down through those ends, through the lengths of the ends, but I don't go all the way to the bottom because they're pretty light and pretty compromised so I just... I'll more focus on toning that rather than trying to lift it out with color. But in that mid shaft area, there is a lot of orange, so I do feather it through there to kind of break that up a little bit.
So here she is processing. Um, as you can see, I just kind of painted whatever ends were left out to remove any excess orange that she had in there. Um, the reason I did that last is because she already had color in there, so I didn't want to let that sit on there too long. this is what she looked like before and after I was done with all the baby lights and balayage I did um, a root smudge with 06N Redkin Shades EQ and I did 9P on her ends. I am so 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 excited about this end result. I think it looks absolutely perfect. Um, I want to know what you guys think. Make sure to comment below, like and subscribe if you like to see more videos and you can follow me on Instagram at Lauren Francis Hair to see some more of my work. Thank you guys!